Pakistan flood death toll nearing 1,000, says official. Flash flood trigger by destructive monsoon rain across much of Pakistan have killed nearly 1,000 people and injured and displaced thousands more since June, officials have said. The new death toll came a day after the Prime Minister Sheba Sarif asked for international help in battling deadly flood damage. More than 33 million people have been displaced. The government has declared an emergency to deal with monsoon flooding, which began in June and continues to wreak havoc in Pakistan. The National Disaster Management Authority, in its latest overnight report, said 45 people were killed in a flood related incident from Friday to Saturday. That brought the death toll since mid June to 982. With 1,456 injured. Many parts of Pakistan have become inaccessible, and re secure are struggling to evacuate thousands of maroon people from flooded affected areas. Balochistan and Shifan province are the worst affected areas. Local media reported late on Saturday that the Kach Dam near Zarat city, 80 miles from Quetta, Balochista capital has broken due to a heavy flooding putting lives of local residents at risk. Other dams in the areas have also reportedly been damaged. There were also reports that protesters have blockaged the Indus Highway, the only safe passage between Hyderabad and Karachi, and northern Sindh, and the rest of Pakistan at Nurhahab. The protester claimed the local lawmakers have endangered the population by diverting flood water. Three people were killed as a result of landslide and flood in Swat, Khyber, Pakhtunkhwa province, and the authorities in Noshwe. Ask for immediate evacuation amid a very high flood in the Kabul River. The additional deputy commissioner of Swat said on Friday. That road spread over 130 kilometers, had been damaged, and 15 bridges were completely destroyed. As the flood wreaked havoc, and more than 100 houses, at least 50 hotels and restaurants were also destroyed. Former Prime Minister Minister Imran Khan has been under surveillance for criticisms for a planned rally on Saturday in Temlun, in the north of Punjab province. Khan has also criticized for refusing to collect funds for flood relief during his visit to flood-affected areas. Khan said he could only appeal for funds after an assessment of losses. Khan has been holding rallies across the country since April, when he was ousted from power through a constitutional vote of no confidence. He is demanding fresh election and has criticized the military and the West for orchestrating his ouster. The planned rally was criticized on social media. Senator Mustafa Nawaz tweeted, "In bad taste, thousands have been left without shelter and food. While the nation suffer, politics can surely wait." Pakistan Information Minister Maryam Aurajahib said the Prime Minister Sharif was with the flood victims, including the coalition's government representative. The UK government has announced 1.5 million of humanitarian funding as urgent support to Pakistan. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.